You are always giving us tests and homework. I don't like it. You are nosy. He just got on the naughty list. <clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome to this year's Baby Alive Christmas School Play. The name of our play this year is Santa Teaches the Bully a Lesson. Thank you to all the kids and parents who played as actors. Okay everyone, make sure to give this video a like and enjoy the play. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, Dad. I am so excited to go play basketball with you after school today. Uh, Ricky, I'm sorry, but I have to go back to work for a few weeks. So I'm not going to be here this afternoon. But you just got here. I know I just got here, but I will be back in two and a half weeks, okay? Two and a half weeks is a long time, Dad. I'm going to miss you. Don't worry, your nanny will be here soon. I'm not the nanny, she's crazy. Ricky, be nice. Look, your elf on the shelf, Elvis, just got back and he's watching you. Okay, Ricky, I have to go now. I'll see you soon, love you. <laughs> I'm so mad. I just want to spend time with dad. What are you looking at? Stop looking at me, you nosy elf. <laughs> Oops. That's what you get for looking at me. <laughs> Sweetheart, are you sure you are okay to go back to work today, sweetie? You don't seem okay. I just really miss Sophie. <laughs> I know, sweetie. Sophie was the best dog ever. I miss her too. We had her for so long. She was part of our family. I think you should stay home from work today. I will be okay. My students will make me feel loved. I have to go to work now. Okay, sweetie. I'll see you after work. I just feel so bad. He really wanted the other shoes. I know, this is all we could afford. I hope he likes the shoes. Me too. <coughs> it's okay, little one. We just don't have much money having a new baby and me losing my job. I know, I'm so glad you finally got another job. Me too. He's waking up. Let's surprise him. <sighs> Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, buddy. Did you have a good night's sleep? Yes, Mom. I did. Uh, Mom, I am super hungry this morning. Could I get, like, some pancakes and bacon? I'm sorry, sweetie, but all we have is toast for breakfast. When your daddy gets paid tomorrow, I will go to the store and get all kinds of food, okay? Okay, a piece of toast is fine. Here you go, son. We also have a little surprise for you. What is it? We got you new shoes. New shoes, yay! Here are your new shoes. Are those bowling shoes? I'm sorry, sweetie. This is all I could find at the thrift store. It's okay, mom and dad. Thank you for these shoes. I really needed new shoes. My shoes have a hole on them and my toe is sticking out of the shoes. So yes, these shoes are a lot nicer. Thank you. Nice. You're welcome, sweetie. We tried our best, buddy. I know, mom and dad. Thank you. Okay, now I have to go to work now. Wish me good luck on my new job. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, sweetheart. You are going to do great. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, students. Today, I have a little surprise quiz. I hope everyone studied over the weekend. Who's excited for a quiz? Us. We studied together this weekend. 
What's wrong with you two? It's a quiz, like a test. This is definitely not a good surprise. I hate being in your class. I can't wait till next year when I get a new math teacher. You are always giving us tests and homework. I don't like it. I'm sorry that you feel that way. I thought it would be a fun little quiz. I will be back in just a few minutes. Ricky, that wasn't very nice. You should apologize to our teacher. You made her cry. Be quiet. You're mean. I can hear the teacher crying from the hallway. Ricky, your attitude stinks. No, you stink. Just like that shopping bag you used as a backpack. You are so mean. I don't have a backpack. My mommy couldn't afford to buy me one. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. <laughs> Ricky, buddy, I don't know what's going on with you, but you are being very mean right now. And you're hurting everyone's feelings. Don't talk to me with your bowling shoes. <laughs> Who wears bowling shoes to school? Just so you know, these are brand new shoes. I wouldn't wear those ugly shoes. Well, I don't care. These are my shoes. Go away, Justin. Go take a shower and change your clothes. Look at your shirt. <sighs> I guess he is right. Don't listen to him. He is just a bully. I got you a little early Christmas gift. For real, for me? Yes, open it up. A shirt and new shoes? You're my best friend ever. These are the nicest shoes I've ever had. Rosita, it's okay, don't cry. He hurt my feelings so bad. <laughs> he just really hurt my feelings. Ricky, we live in the same neighborhood. I'm going to tell your dad that you are not being nice to anyone in this classroom. Well, I'm going to tell your dad that you are nosy. I don't have a dad. <laughs> Christmas Eve? Are we ready to deliver presents to all the little boys and girls in the world? No, 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 Santa. It is not Christmas Eve, but we do have a problem. What's the problem, Elvis? I have a good kid that is about to go on the naughty list. A good kid going on the naughty list? Is my computer not working right? No, oh, brother. No, Santa! The good kid is becoming angry. Angry? Uh-oh. Anger is a terrible thing. He is in danger of going on the naughty list. Well, why is this little boy angry? Because he wants to spend time with his dad, but he works a lot. I will work a little Christmas magic. I'm going to make it snow, so his father, the pilot, doesn't have to fly the plane. And he can spend time and Christmas with his son. Perfect idea, Santa! He just got on the naughty list! Don't worry, Elvis. I have an idea. Tonight, I'm going to go show him all the mean things he's done. And since he's a good kid, he's going to feel bad and apologize. And then he's going to get on the nice list. Yes. Thank you, Santa. I have to go now. Okay, Elvis. Goodbye, Santa Claus. Ricky, it's time for bed. Okay, I'm going to sleep right now. Yeah, right? Ricky! Daddy! You're back already? 
it started snowing, so they had to cancel all my flights. I will be here for the next two weeks, and we will spend Christmas together. Yay! I am so happy, Dad. Me too, son. I'm sorry I work a lot. I'm going to cut down on my work hours, okay? So I can spend more time with you. <gasps> you are? Yes. Yay! I am so happy, Dad. Me too. Now go to sleep because tomorrow we have lots of fun things to do. Okay. Good night. Good night. <sighs> what is it? Grandpa? I'm not your grandpa. I'm Santa Claus. Oops. You kind of look like my grandpa. You're not the first one to tell me that. Anyway, I am here because you are on the naughty list. I am? Yes. You were very mean to Justin. He is actually a poor kid. I didn't know. I am so sorry. You were also very mean to your teacher who just lost her best friend. It was her dog. <gasps> oh no! That's why she was crying. Yes. You were also very rude to Rosita. Oh no! I feel so bad! We know you are angry. But remember, you have to control your anger. Anger is not good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. How can I get back on the nice list? Buddy, I think you know what to do. Hey, wake up, buddy. Hey, Santa. Oh, it's you, Dad. I, I had a dream. Well, are you ready to go have fun? Yes, I'm ready to have fun. But first, I need to apologize to my friends. Apologize? Yes. I wasn't very nice to my friends yesterday. I was really upset. Okay, I'll take you to your friend's house, okay? Okay, let's go to Justin's house first, okay? This is Justin's house. It's you, Ricky. What do you want, buddy? Do you want to make fun of my shoes again? No, Justin. I'm here to apologize. I was not very nice to you. I'm sorry. It's okay, buddy. I forgive you. Hug. I also have a gift for you and your family. All this for us? Yes. I hope you and your family have a Merry Christmas. <gasps> Thank you! Where do you want to go next? To my friend Lulu's house. 